name is Laurel Archer and I'm with um, Living Peace Now today. And I, I do a Saturday class. Now it was Friday, now it's Saturday. So we just talk about the subject of the month. So this subject of the month is beauty, but we always do some American English conversation around beauty and talk about you know things as they come up in conversation. So I wanted to talk about beauty today and what the meaning is. So we've been doing beauty for the last few months. Um, we did some love in between and we just love to talk about subjects that are universally accepted as good, right? So we are just happy to, and then because we are an international group here, what is my perception of beauty versus yours? You know, what do I think is beautiful? And what do you think is beautiful? And we'll talk about this. And um, I do have a little video that is on the Living Peace Now Facebook page. And I'd like to play some of that for you. We are talking um, about beauty today, and we are talking about the perception of beauty around the world. So I've done other classes on beauty through Living Peace Now. One of them was talking about the face. I think we talked, I don't know, Victoria, were you there when we did the one about the face? So it showed the picture of the most beautiful woman in that country. So she would have like the, the makeup and the hair that was the most important for that country to make her look that that nationality that was very interesting and then we've talked about people like a model talking about beauty and what it's like to be a model and it's not as beautiful as it looks there's a lot that goes into things right when you're a model you're not just on the runway and that's it it's like this class everything gets um you know everything is starting because we did something in the background right so beauty is the same way. Um, even J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez says beauty is an inside job. So she's the one of the most beautiful, accomplished actresses, singers, dancers, entrepreneurs that I know. And she even says that beauty is an inside job. So what does that mean? Victoria, why don't we discuss that for a minute? Um, so I... I do think uh, someone can can really be very much uh, appealing uh, your features, but when she isn't to the inside, uh, this uh, kind of uh, shows up, and you lose all the beauty you you have seen. So I remember when I was at college. I remember uh, all those new people. And I have some colleagues that uh, first, they appear to be that beautiful person. But when you start to think, uh, to talk with them, you see how shallow they are, uh, how uh, it's shallow most of the time. Yeah. So, so you kind of, question the beauty that it's really this what's uh, the the beauty that I I I I want to see and sometimes you don't see the the person as first uh, the your first impression isn't uh, of a beauty person but as soon you see her uh, as full of content and something's um, to talk to to make you laugh to everything so you see her differently so uh, i think it, the definition is a, it could be of beauty is getting to know the person if you know her you will know if she's beauty or or not beautiful, beautiful or not beautiful yeah she's a beautiful not. person so yes. yeah when we use it as a noun it's beauty and when you use it as an mm -hmm. adjective, it's beautiful. So okay. she's a beautiful person. Um, and yes, so she's talking about when you meet somebody and they look beautiful on the outside, but then when they start talking, they are rather shallow or rather surface, like they don't want to talk about deeper things. Now, obviously, you can't talk about deep things right away when you first meet somebody. 
and people do make this mistake. But I think the the big thing is the manner that you that you treat people. So if you treat people kindly, um, respectfully, then you'll get along just fine. And that beauty that is your attitude, your your demeanor, your behavior comes out from your heart and it shows to people. So that's beauty from the inside in your mannerisms, in your in your beauty, in your behavior. But what about, um, I guess we can also, we've all, also done a class on how to take care of yourself. So that beauty is from the inside as well. So we can talk about that too for a minute. Um, you know, beauty being the inside job, you have to take, you know, care of yourself. So what does that mean to you guys? What does it mean to put your best face forward? Let's talk about that. I think so, Mr. Muhammad Abrar uh, will, uh, should talk about it. Yes, you think so, huh? I think he's on the phone. <laughs> Renato, what does it mean to put your best face forward? Uh, just, uh, yeah, just a word. I need a call. Okay, uh, just, go ahead. Just 30 seconds, I need. Yeah. No problem. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Okay. All right. No, I'm okay with <laughs> <laughs> well, I've noticed that Victoria is very, she has a lot of makeup on in one video. She's like very presented, you know, like very, very nice looking. And I'm like, and I'm used to seeing her like this, very nice looking, but not a lot of makeup. So yeah, sometimes. And I, yes, I think so, yes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Victoria should repeat again this topic. <laughs> yes. So, um, Let's start looking at this video from the other. So it's from the Living Peace Now Facebook page. Um, unless Muhammad wants to say something, go ahead and say what you were going to say. Uh, first of all, I would like to appreciate uh, your definition. And if you uh, really ask me, I'm internally very inspired by your definition of the beauty. And uh, after a lot of time, uh, I met a person who has a, such kind of definition of a beauty and manners and etiquette. I would like to appreciate this thing. And I'm happy to uh, listen to all of you. Uh, actually, uh, beauty is a such kind of thing which you have inside you. It's called the reflection on the other person. If you are a person who uh, likes to be polite, humble, gentle, the way you, the word you used, how you treat the people. The same thing when somebody is treating to you in the same way, that's called the beauty in my, uh, uh, according to my definition, I think so. Yes. Because if the things which you like for yourself, if the same things are present in the opposite person, definitely would like to be inspired and would like to be appreciated the things. If right. you are a person who is humble, who's polite, who's gentle, who's honest, and who, who knows how to respect somebody, if the same things are available in the next person to whom you're going to meet, definitely you can get inspired by that good person. Yes. Uh, it's a one yes. thing. So one have thing. you... Have you guys ever heard of the saying that you are like the five people you surround yourself with? Me? Have you heard of this? Yes. Yes, yes. I have. Okay, Renato, tell us about that. It's about, a, I think, about how you get influenced by the uh, habits, by the actions, the behaviors. So this influence in your personality as well. Right, right. So, Victoria, what else? It is uh, most likely, uh, most like what uh, Renato said. Uh, it's uh, your closest friends. They influence influence how uh, you behave. So, if you have uh, five real good people around you, you will, re you will reflect that. But if you have, <laughs> you don't have five good people, you will, you will reflect that bad thing. Because people, uh, it's kind of a little judgy, but they will look at you throughout uh, those who accompany you. So right, they will right. 
They will um, expect uh, you to do good or bad things, uh, considering which uh, which are which are the persons that right. are closest to you. Right. Right. So we as humans. Yeah, the YouTube channel we as humans tend to draw our power or our energy from the people around us. So if I am by myself all day long, then that's all I have. But if I'm around other people, um, I'm around you guys. I'm around um, my students. I'm around my husband. I'm around family. Then those people influence the way I feel. And it shouldn't be that way, but as humans, it is. So, but it starts here. It starts where you decide, who do I want to be around? Do I want to be around beautiful people, people that make me feel good, people that have good energy, people that have good things to contribute to the world? Or do I want to be around people that drag me down and are negative? You decide this. Any comments? I... I have something to say that kind of, <laughs> uh, even though I, I, I have a very, a very close group in here, I, I always appreciate the beauty on everyone that are, that are around me. Uh, yes, right about this year that I could really see this beauty in me. So sometimes it's uh, really hard to us to to see how how well we accomplish things. We sometimes only recognize the, those things on the on the others. It's hard to see if you don't see it, isn't it? Yes. Very. It's hard to change your habits. It's hard to realize that part of the reason that you're unhappy is because of the people that are around you. And if you surround yourself with people that are not good for you, you're going to feel that. And that's not beautiful. That's the opposite, right? And so you have to really start here saying, okay, what do I need to change in my life? I need to change the people around me. One at a time, maybe. If you have a friendship that is not good, cut it off. You know, if you have people around you, maybe a job that's bringing you down, is your, are you able to leave? And that way, your psyche, your psychological um, feeling of feeling good about yourself will go up when you start making these hard decisions. I know that's not beauty, but it is to get to beauty. You have to climb that mountain. You have to take those steps. Yeah, I actually did both on the last few years. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, it's like a plant right you have a beautiful plant and it has some problems some leaves that are are not good so you cut those leaves off and you keep the good ones and that's what you're doing with your friends and then we're going to go to this little video okay so this is beauty i'm special nobody in the world is exactly like i am they might have the same color hair and the eyes that i do but they are not exactly like me i am the only person in the world who thinks my thoughts? No two people in the world are exactly alike. It is good to be your own person. It is good to be creative and to be natural. People have to follow the laws and the rules. People should always be kind to others. I try to follow all the rules. I am kind to others. I'm a lot like many other people, yet I am different. I am like my friend Jane, but she has red hair and I have dark hair. She has a loud voice and I have a soft voice. She likes to eat vegetables and I do not. Jane and I are the same height. We both like movies and we are both afraid of spiders. We wear the same size shoes and we both have the same favorite color. We are best friends, but sometimes we disagree about things. We are alike in many ways, but different as well. If we were all exactly the same, the world would be a very boring place. I am myself, and I am glad that I am special. You are special too. Use your own special talents and take the time to meet other people. The world is made up of a lot of different people, 
that's what makes life exciting. What do you guys think? Victoria, you're smiling. Tell me what you're thinking. That's very beautiful. And I, I, I kind of related uh, with one of my, one of the boats of my the boat three, yeah, with the five peoples <laughs> that are uh, around people me. Are different than so, you, but good and unique and special that are around yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and kind of a kind of uh, in which uh, phrase I. I could see any one of them that I. That That's great. Those, my, all those friends. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So you have friends that, um, I mean, it's the specifics. Like she likes movies that I don't. She likes eat vegetables. I don't. She has red hair. I have dark hair. Those are all surface qualities in a way, or or things that you like. But what's more, Muhammad? Do you have anything to say? Or Mr. Danish. I have someone <laughs> to show you guys. Yes, please. Oh. He doesn't oh. have a name yet. He's so cute. <laughs> well, we need to name him. What is his name? Oh. He's uh, my friend. Um, ah, he okay. didn't put a name in it yet. I got he just it. show up as a two days here <laughs> right 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 well i have a little one as well and she's not so little anymore but she is right here so her name is leah and she is about two years old a little over two years old she seems like she's an old cat by now maybe she's three i don't know but she's got beautiful green eyes and she's quiet right now, but sometimes she's not so quiet. So. She's beautiful. Yeah. All right. So um, does anyone else want to talk about, we have about five minutes left. Anything else about beauty that we want to discuss today? Um, about what makes you unique and special and why people should want to be around you? You have to think about that. Renato, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I was just preparing myself with this. And uh, just kidding. <laughs> in, in fact, I was shirtless that time. So I was just uh, getting dressed yes. to, to start to work. And yes. I want you to talk um, about this. Uh, I love the, um, this topic. And I, I really... Um, believe that each human is like a universe a different universe you know I like that so yeah we have to respect each other and because um we are so different we we cannot be it's imagine the world if everybody was the same you know like robots or if everybody like the same color, the same food, it wouldn't, it's not possible. It can be boring. boring and not possible. Imagine if everybody eats orange, would not, uh, would not have orange anymore for, uh, so everybody would uh, die. <laughs> 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 then what else? And I love as well the, um, how can I say this? Uh, yeah, the different the difference uh, between people. I think this is how we are rich in our difference as well. We're rich. That's right. Mm -hmm. So rich in love, rich in beauty, rich in friends, rich in experience. It doesn't have to do with money. It could be rich in all these other things. So, you know, if you have an experience with someone, um, you go to a place, you go to Disneyland or you go to, it's not about the commercialism. It's about the experiences, the memories that you take away. And um, 
so yeah, it's it's a very interesting concept to to say what is beauty and how are we different? And the whole collage of everything makes us all beautiful together. Freydun, would you like to say something about beauty since you're here? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Uh, you Speaking know, of orange, uh, I like your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I've uh, gone to uh, my neighbor's city. I take my uh, wife to doctor. He has uh, orthodontist in her oh, tooth. Teeth. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she must open his her orthodontic because radiography from her neck MRI you know MRI yeah uh, yeah yeah yes for doing MRI she must have left this uh, uh, to try <laughs> for his test it must must be free from iron and no I came back just now and uh, of course at this time I said uh, I was I am doing my office work, you know. We have some online work, and in during, uh, you know, during official time, the net is so what is it, high traffic. Crowded. Uh, yeah, overloaded. Uh, work in office, and yes, it, uh, and uh, at the night it is so quiet, and we can work better. I, I, I don't know what is your uh, subject, what is your majority for today, um, I don't know. What about yeah, you? We, we're talking about beauty. We're talking about what is beauty on the inside and on the outside. And um, there are, uh, we talked about the five people that are around you. Are they beautiful to you? Are they the people that make you feel beautiful, that make you feel strong and, and ready to face the day and give you courage? These people, um, have beauty from the inside. So we're talking about that, um, not just the facial beauty, not just what you look like, but what you feel like and what you um, represent and how you make other people feel. Okay, okay. you know, uh, about the beauty, I am believe that uh, some people can uh, feel love in their heart. You know, their heart is full of love of course, it is uh, sometimes is very bad, very dangerous, especially for married people because they uh, fall in love very earlier in the very short time. However, this kind of people, this kind of people can uh, see uh, everything, uh, can see the beauty of everything. They feel beauty in every creative, every nature, every people, every uh, human. Uh, but uh, I said uh, there is there are some people that they don't have ability of uh, love inside of their heart. Yes, maybe this kind of people I uh, cannot maybe cannot recognize their real beauty beauty of people of or our nature. These kind of people uh, usually want like everything for themselves. For example, if uh, if this uh, one this man uh, like uh, one a boy like the girl, she he like this girl only for himself, not for uh, make a lovely you know a lovely a lovely uh, uh, relationship with this. Yes, because I think this kind of people uh, has a very cold heart, heart, heart. And of course, if you don't be angry, I think that maybe most of uh, Western people, American, European people, I think the most of them have uh, a little cold heart. Maybe they be they fall in love rarely, uh, very difficultly. That's your perception. And I, and I agree with you to some degree. I mean, we, we, we in America and in other countries, um, maybe we fall in love too easy. Maybe you see the perception of like divorces and things like that because we pick our partners. And so we can like decide to divorce more easily than in another country where there's more at stake. 
where either your parents arranged it or else, you know, it's a family tradition or something. I think uh, the most important thing is uh, uh, the beauty from inside, not uh, the outside. Um, however, we are beautiful from uh, outside. Everyone uh, has uh, something distinguished uh, in his appearance uh, uh, and that makes people, uh, all people uh, are beautiful. Um, when we are uh, tolerant and uh, empathetic with others, uh, caring, uh, uh, this gives us a kind of uh, beauty. Uh, and uh, what matters is uh, how we uh, consider ourselves and how we look at uh, ourselves from the inside. Uh, um, and we should be grateful to uh, God for uh, our character and uh, um, build the self-confidence in ourselves, uh, self-assurance and be convinced of uh, our appearance and try to improve uh, our qualities uh, from inside uh, to uh, be more beautiful and uh, uh, be kinder and helpful to others. I agree with all of that. <laughs> All right. So I appreciate everybody coming on here. Um, I think uh, if there's no more last words, we can finish for today.